Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Confidential here on another episode of There Will Be Trivia. This is the Total Recall 2 tournament here on There Will Be Movies. And uh, this is an interesting one because uh, someone who you're real familiar with at this point, if you've uh, followed my resurgence on the internet, uh, Jake Cruikshank. He's someone who I got introduced when I was trying to uh, you know, reinvent myself in this uh, you know, their new rendition of There Will Be Trivia. And he's someone who's just been you know, by my side for a while now, and I've become a really good fan of him. And the other person, Jordan Anderson, is someone who I've just uh, met throughout, you know, the years of just being familiar with the Schmodown and the fan leagues, and we haven't actually come across, you know, trivia-wise or show-wise, but uh, I I uh, hit him up and I said, hey, are you down to do this? And he's like, if I have enough time after this protein shake, I'll consider it, and luckily today uh, we are able to make that work. So we're going to go ahead and see what they have to say and see if they're as nice to me as I am to them. Oh, it's all right. Hey, how's it going? I'm excited for this. Yep, and I got my my brain fuel, my protein shake, so I think we'll be good to go. <laughs> Is this your sound? So as soon as this come out, you should get out on the phone. Call me, get What's up? <laughs> it's uh, Jake and Bank here, uh, back for another round of trivia. I just thought I'd have a wrestling intro song for this one. Uh, <laughs> I've been mostly on the question writing side, so uh, this will be my third round, and I'm looking forward. Hey, if you guys made it to this far in the video, it means we did not get a copyright strike, and we were actually able to continue this uh, match, so yeah. uh, shout out to that. Uh, <laughs> that was interesting, <laughs> and that was definitely impromptu, and uh, we had no idea how to react to that, and uh, I love it for just that fact. So with that being said, uh, <laughs> uh, you I wanted to surprise you, Henry. I thought, <laughs> keep, spark some joy. You, you did a great job. Happy Father's Day. Uh, so with that said, you all know how round one goes. It is this or that. So get your whiteboards ready or whatever you want to write your stuffs down. And I'm going to ask you a question right. and Got give it. you two options. So with that said, question one, not written by Jake Crookshank. Give, give, I've been giving him too many shout outs lately. Uh, so this one is in fact by me. Right. Which actress plays Steve Carell's love interest in The 40-Year-Old Virgin? Is it Marissa Tomei or Katherine Keener? It's uh, one of those fun things when uh, Jake, Jake, who is not as familiar with the, the fan leagues and all that stuff, so when we were introducing things, he had more of an open mind. And then when I was talking to Jordan, he was he had more of a closed mind with an assumption of what this was. So when I was trying to explain to him, I'm like, you just you just have to be here. Just wait. You'll figure it out. Five, four, <laughs> yeah. three, right. two, one. Jake. Keener, baby. And Jordan. Catherine Keener. That is correct. One, one. <laughs> Question two. Which member of his family is Donnie married to in The Wolf of Wall Street? His first cousin or his third cousin? It's one of those where you just can't even banter at this one. You just got to let this one ride for multiple reasons. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Jordan, what do you got? It was just a guess. I put third cousin. And Jake? Third cousin. If you're not first, you're last. It is, in fact, his first cousin. Ooh. Oh, really? Nice. <laughs> wow. I forgot about that. <laughs> that gives me a little bit of a different perspective on that movie. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. You know, and and he, that's why he took his kids to a field. And he's like, go be free. Uh, your third question. Who directed <laughs> Beowulf? Is it Robert Zemeckis or Steven Spielberg? Some of these questions, you're just like, yeah, there's an obvious answer. And trust me, as I'm writing it, I'm like, I wish I had a better option to go with it. But sometimes I still want to answer the question anyway. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Jake. Oh, Zemeckis, baby. And Jordan. Yeah, Robert Zemeckis. That's correct. <laughs> It's the benefit of a 50-50 a option. You can literally just write Zemeckis and we'll accept it because, you know, it was only there was two options. It's like writing B. Yep. Uh, <laughs> question four. Right. In, in Sexy Beast, what is Gal's specialty? Is it explosives or safe cracking? Sexy Beast, also something I'm known as on the internet. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Jordan. I had safe cracking. And Jake? Safe cracking. 
It, it is uh, very safe to crack. Yes. <laughs> That's safe. Uh, your next question. Uh, John Voigt moved from Texas to what state in Midnight Cowboy? Chicago or New York? Unfortunately, it was not Los Angeles or Toronto, so my competitors <laughs> are not biased. Five. Four, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Jake. Hey, I'm walking here. Damn it, you did it. I wanted to do it. And <laughs> <laughs> New York. I'm walking here. New York, New York. <laughs> uh, and your final question in round one. R.I.P. Ned Beatty was nominated once for what movie? Network or Deliverance? Silence. Five, four, three, two, one. And Jordan. I had one thought, and then I changed my answer. So hopefully it's right. <laughs> I put network. And Jake. Network. For only a couple minutes. Uh, that is fact at network. So after round one, both of these competitors uh, head to head. You know, going at it five to five. So uh, going into round two, which is locked in. If you uh, are 100% confident in the question, you want to write down answer for um, two points, lock in. If not, I'll read your multiple choice. And then once the multiple choice is being um, read, just keep your hands up and, you know, let's keep the integrity going. So question one. Margot lies about doing what in the Royal Tenenbaums? Hmm. See it. Can I get multiple choice? Locked huh? in. Okay. Um. And then Jordan, just you know, keep your hands up and stuff during all this too. Yeah, this is okay. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, is it A drinking, B smoking, C having a job, or D having a husband? And just for Are you want me to write it down or just say? Yeah, you still you still write it down, but I'm just saying because it's whiteboard based, so you write it down. Okay. Um, just a reminder, Jake's locked in, so the multiple choice was just for Jordan on this one. Five. Four, three, Correct. two, one. All right, Jake for two points potentially. Smoking. And Jordan for one point. Yeah, smoking. Both of you are correct, and Jake takes a one point lead with that. Uh, your next question: mm -hmm. Who directed the Adams Family? Mm. I'll go with multiple choice again. Okay. Hard locked in. Uh oh, Jake, Jake thinks he's killing it over here. All right, so <laughs> just for Jordan, is it A, Roland Emmerich, B, Danny DeVito, C, Simon West, or D, Barry Sonnenfeld? Five, four, three, two, one. Jake for two points. Barry Sonnenfeld. And Jordan for one point. Barry Sonnenfeld. All right. Two-point lead. Uh, what actor directed themselves in Sling Blade? I think i got to go with multiple again. <laughs> okay. I'm locked. All right, Jake locked in again. Uh, is it A, Tom Hanks? B, Billy Bob Thornton, C, Sean Penn, or D, Dustin Hoffman? You can see Jake over there thinking. He's like, shit. Am I, double, am I second guessing myself? Five, four, <laughs> three. Second guessing something else. Two, one. Uh, Jake, for two points. This is my sling blade. <laughs> And Billy Bob. You, were you second guessing your quote? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, is this offensive? <laughs> Jordan for one. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Billy Bob. It, it wasn't the best impression, but I don't think it was offensive, though. <laughs> no. uh, qu question yeah, four. Uh, what actor stars in 1997's Breakdown? Damn it. I'm def I was definitely thinking that this would be tough. Because I wrote this. Yeah, I think I'm going to need multiple on this one. 
and you're locked, I'm locked in, Jake. In. Damn. Mm -hmm. Is it A, Jeff Goldblum, B, Sam Neill, C, Bruce Campbell, or D, Kurt Russell? Comment below if you know the what those four actors have in common. I wasn't paying attention. Just look at your board. <laughs> Hopefully it's one of those. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Jake for two points. Kurt Russell, baby. And Jordan for one point. And I've never seen this movie, so I just threw up a name. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> it was, in fact, Kurt Russell. So that is a 13-8 to eight lead going into the fifth question in, uh, in round uh, two. Potential uh, um, issue here. As he was killed, what did Vin Diesel request to be given to his dad in Saving Private Ryan? I think I gotta go multiple again. <laughs> okay. I gotta lock in. Okay. Let's see how you, how you go about it. Is it A, a letter, B, his dog tag, C, a watch, or D, a Bible? Five, four, three, two, one. Potentially for two points again, Jake. Uh, it's just a guess, but his dog tags. And Jordan. And I've only seen the movie one time, but I put a, a letter. It is, in fact, a letter. Oh, my God, it's got blood Ooh, there on it. There you go. <laughs> okay. So uh, that, that, was a, that was a huge point over there for uh, Jordan, down 13 to 9 now, going into the final question. Right. So uh, that actually guarantees Jordan a uh, round three, you know, point now because the most you can get in round three is six points so no matter what based on how this the worst it can be is a six point deficit so we're going to round three regardless <laughs> your final question keenan thompson played the title character in what 2004 family comedy there we go jordan might be locking in locking in yep <laughs> he's locking in that could be huge five Four, three, two, one. Were you locked in? I need multiple the choice? Okay, so I double check. Multiple choice. All right, so this is just for uh, George, or, uh, Jake here. Um, is it A, Fat Albert, B, Like Mike, C, Max Keeble's Big Move, or D, Agent Cody Banks? Okay, I got it. Right. Five, four, three, two, one. Jordan for a potential huge two points. I'm not going to go multiple choice on all of them. We've got Fat Albert. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and Jake. Fat Albert. How did you get that correct with those amazing multiple choice of Max Keeble and <laughs> Agent Cody Banks? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. I, 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 dug, I dug myself into it. I put myself in a corner when I went with title character in the, in the way I was writing it. But I'm like, this is written for a two-point answer here. But the multiple choice were dogs. <laughs> so uh, with that said, that was actually a huge uh, two points there for uh, Jordan. So now it's 13 to 11 going into the IMDb round. 14-11. Is that what I said? 14-11. So, uh, Jake, you're in the lead. Would you like Mayflowers or April Showers? April Showers, of course, baby. All right, so we're going to start off with Jordan. You don't you don't need your whiteboard unless you want to right. write down notes. So, yeah, so just, you know, hands up and let's good luck here. It's a good choice. I was born in April, so let's do <laughs> <All> it. <right. laughs> so, so for one point, your year is 2008. Your genres are biography and drama and your plot summary. The true story of a gay activist who fought for gay rights and became California's first openly gay elected official. The film is Milk. It wasn't for you, oh. so you, you just gave Jordan a free one point. Right. What? It wasn't for you. You're in that lead. Why would that's you go first? <laughs> oh, really? And that's what I was about to say. <laughs> Anyways, like I would have said okay. the exact same thing. Like, sure, sure. Like, for real. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I got you. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a choice. You gave it to him anyways. <laughs> He's like, I'm tagged in. So, all right. Well, that set the precedent. Pay attention so you make sure you uh, don't stay for your answer, your opponent. Because I believe you. There's one point in his milk. Sure. All right. Anyway. I've done the same thing in, in a different trivia league. I, I like didn't hear the question right and like answered it completely off. So, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. Okay. It, just real quick, Jordan, just because the way that the camera is, can you either tilt down or just go back a little bit just because you have the hands here? I, you know, it, I know. The oh, body, yeah. 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 So how, you yeah, know, yeah. just be, be comfortable. I was yeah. just saying just on it. Just, just, you know, just looks. But anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> uh, the year is 2014. Your genres for Jordan are biography, crime, drama, and romance. Would you like to hear the top build or the director? Um... Let's go with the, the top build. Okay. Once again, down two to tie the game. 2014, biography, crime, drama, and romance. And the top build is Amy Adams. Oh, I think that... I am probably not gonna get it, but but I think I know that two, maybe, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a guess. Uh, so uh, one, um, you, obviously you got it wrong, but I'm just gonna give you the director anyway, just to see if it helps. Uh, the director is Tim Burton. Oh, Tim Burton. Would you? Uh, I'm only get. No. Uh, I was gonna Jake, say big eyes. But <laughs> yeah, sure it's wrong. big eyes, right? It is big eyes. Oh, it is big eyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So with that said, we're going into the three pointer, and you have to hit this. All right. To take a one point lead, your year is 1990, and your genres are action, comedy, and crime. And your plot keywords: detective, crime bosses, and singer. Singer. Mm. And just to run down of how this is while you're thinking, uh, the keywords are one are always going to be you had to see the, the movie, and two keywords are as long as you have a general idea of the movie, whether it be from the plot summary, the poster, or the trailer, those are that's how it goes. So that's usually how I vamp when I'm by myself. Five, mm -hmm. four, three. I don't know. I'm going to go with Goodfellas. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, we were looking for Dick Tracy. So, uh, yeah, the singer uh, part threw me off. I was like, What's, yeah, "What? What? That singer? The, the, the girl <laughs> that he, you know, gets into a relationship with. She's a singer." So, okay. uh, so with that said, we're uh, we're going into round two with uh, Jake. Moving on, and uh, we'll start off with Jordan. Uh, Jordan, you you you've dabbled your toes into uh, some trivia leagues in the fan leagues over the you know last year or so, and you're really starting to work your way. Um, you know, doing your podcast and all that stuff. Uh, what are your thoughts? And obviously, just as a big fan of the Shmodan, what were your thoughts on this format, knowing that it's different than other ones? What were your thoughts based on your expectations coming in and then right. now after doing it? And then just uh, how do you feel in the future? Well, I actually had a lot of fun. Like, I really like the 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 format. I'm, I'm usually one of those those people that it's, like, really good at, like, deductive reasoning. So, like, when I, when I hear, like, one or the other or, like, multiple choice, like, like that – that really helped me. Usually, like for me, like it's those those like five point questions or like the ones at the at the end of the the round that yeah. always do me in usually. So, That's but yeah, this was a good time though. I'm definitely uh, down to come back anytime. So. There you go. And uh, Jake, as your uh, your special guest over here, is uh, applauding you for your win. Uh, what, what were your thoughts on this? Uh, you've already you've already done a couple now at this point, and you're really starting to uh, get a feel for how we're doing things here. And now with this new format, did you like it? being on the other side of the writing table, being in the play, is it, do you, do you, do you, do you have a good feel for it going into round two? Or is it one of those things where it's still just, you know, time, time is, you know, going to play a course. No, I really liked it. And it's nice meeting you, Jordan. You should have me on your podcast. I'm a great guest. I don't know what your yeah, podcast sure. is about. What is your podcast about? By the way? So, uh, well, the one we usually have guests on, we have, we have one that's called tier ranker fights and we just, we just pick different categories like, and we, and we just rank them on a, on a tier ranker scale. So on, on Friday, we just broke down the the best horror movies of the '80s. So we we had William Bibiani, Adam Collins on, and Mark Edward Hoyk. So that was a lot of fun. But we do all kinds of different categories. We got one coming up that's going to be best uh, best comedies for, from 2010 until now coming up in in July, about uh, mid July. So yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Well, yeah, it was nice meeting you too, man. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this format, Henry. Like I I think this format is solid. 
Very solid. I like that there's yeah. a little bit of strategy to like it, it, just the right amount of strategy. I like that you start off with the 50-50. It eases you in so that you're not just, you know, getting like eight wrong right off the bat and feeling like, ah, fuck, you know, facts. Uh, with that said, going, going into the next round, you're going to be playing the winner of Chris Diaz and Sandy the Sandman Robinson. Uh, are you excited for that? <laughs> Sandy the Sandman Robinson? <laughs> I met him. Made me sleepy. Oh. Uh, with, <laughs> with that said, everybody, no, if, you made, <laughs> if you made it to this far in the video, you already know the drill. You probably liked You probably liked it, so you might as well drop a like. And if for some reason you're not subscribed to the channel, you might as well subscribe to the channel. But also make sure you check out the There Will Be Movies live channel because that is where we're going to be posting you know, live content that you can interact with. That is uh, going to be the 3 and Out podcast and also the Against the Green podcast when it ever shows up. And you'll probably see Jake a bunch of that. And I'm also going to be creating some other shows. And also randomly, if I'm having some drinks on Saturday night and I'm chilling with Jay Burns behind the scenes and, we're, and he's like, we're talking back and forth, calling each other bitches, and we're calling each other out. And Madi randomly writes a match. Sometimes Sometimes we'll just have a random match pop up on there. So make sure you subscribe <laughs> to that channel and subscribe to this for all the edited content. Henry Confidential, shout out to uh, um, Jordan Anderson, um, Movie World, no, yeah. Nerd World. What is, what? Uh, movie Hero is what it is. Movie Hero, damn it. I'm fucking yeah, yeah. I always mix them <laughs> yep. all up. And then uh, Jake, uh, eventually, eventually he's going to finish up his, uh, his, uh, um, vid- his, uh, what, his, uh, Damn it! What's the phrase of it? His movie essay about a movie that we're not going to talk about, and so am I. And we're going to compare notes, and we're going to have you guys vote on who's is better. With that said, Henry Confidential, Jordan Anderson, right. Jake Crookshanks, we are out.